let us look at the next option uh, which is called as spline and uh, before that let me just delete all the uh, segments by the way one more uh, another there is another method of deleting the segments what are available for us let me use this option called delete segment so when i am using the option called delete segment i just have to click on delete segment i need to go to the required segment where i want to delete and just click on the segment there it is look the way i'm deleting the segments right this is the another way of deleting the segments or else i can just scratch it on the screen total screen is gone total segment is gone for example this is the rectangle what i have let me go to the delete segment i can delete neatly segment wise line wise or i can just scratch wherever you don't i don't want that section to be that gets deleted actually so that is another way of deleting the segments which is available on the screen so let us now look at the uh, option called spline which is available so spline i generally use it for uh, well there are plenty of uh, applications of spline but uh, i will be actually using it for uh, creating aerofoils uh, aerofoils are nothing but the cut section of a wing aircraft wing so i'll just show you an example how how do i use a spline for aerofoil actually so in order to create an aerofoil uh, there are plenty of uh, database available online for us where you know we can download the uh, coordinates of the aerofoil x and y coordinates and uh, if we want to plot that aerofoil in the sketching in the creo software uh, with the help of coordinates it is a very time taking task because you know for an aerofoil uh, you will be having around uh, uh, 20 to 30 points x and y coordinates so it is very difficult for us to uh, create that particular aerofoil in that case we will be using a spline so before that let me just show you the points of aerofoil one second yeah so i have just opened an uh, a set of coordinates for of, uh, onera aerofoil so these are the x y and z coordinates you can see on the screen so you can just see the count of your own coordinates what we have in the hand so if we are wanting this coordinates to be plotted in the creo uh, it is generally very difficult for us to do point by point so in that case you know spline is actually used so i'll just show you the way how i'm actually using the spline so in order to do that first what i'll be doing is i'll be using a coordinate system so coordinate system is nothing but you know x y and z directions uh, these are the coordinates with which we can you know align and we can uh, refer the total dimension with this uh, coordinate system having an origin so first let me create a coordinate system uh, randomly at any particular location so this is the coordinate system that i have created by clicking on the middle click with the uh, on the screen and uh, right after that you know i have to create a line and uh, let me create a line horizontally and let me keep the unit of a line to be around you know one unit yeah this is a one unit and let me just refit yeah so i got a line which is having a one unit length and uh, let me just keep it aside yeah so i want an aerofoil and uh, what i'll be doing is i'll be using the spline right now i will be creating a spline a random spline right so before this i'll just show you in in this area what is the spline you know we can create spherical line actually so generally a line is a very straight segment but a spline is a spherical line so we can create a spline with any curve in any direction and we can stop it at any location desired by just clicking middle click so i'll delete this total segment for confusion i'll just use the delete segment i can just scratch it there it is right so come back to this uh, the geometric modeling of airfoil i have created a spline with uh, two points you know there are two points over here which is having its own x and y coordinate and i have an aerofoil list of uh, coordinates over here uh, there are almost you know 20 to, 30, 20 to 30 i believe more than 30 coordinates over here i want this coordinates to be plotted on this spline in a very neat fashion so what do i do i need to just double click on the spline and when i'm double clicking on the spline i'm getting some options over here right so i need to go to file over here and from file first i would have to select the coordinate system i have selected this coordinate system and i got the coordinate system number over here right after that i need to select the 
notepad file where I've saved in those in my system I need to browse it so I'll just quickly go over there and uh, after selecting I have to actually um, once again yep yeah on error points so let me go on import and I'm selecting import I'm getting a look uh, a confirmation message I just have to tap ok and there it is I got the aerofoil coordinates pointed just click ok there it is my spline is now converted into very neatly aligned aerofoil coordinates mind you this is the upper section of the aerofoil I have to for a aerofoil I need a lower section and this onera aerofoil what I've selected is a symmetric aerofoil that means the upper surface is actually similar to the lower surface so in that case you know I can use an option called mirror so mirror is nothing but you know reflecting the same surface on the opposite side so in that case first let me delete this line segment by using the delete command or the delete segment and the unit of uh, total length is one unit and let me go to the option called let me select the spline first in order to use the mirror option initially it is not highlighted you can see but these options other options are highlighted but mirror is unhighlighted okay so we need to select the segment which we need to mirror first so this is a spline which I need to mirror as soon as I'm selecting on the line you can see the mirror is now highlighted that means I can utilize this option right now so when I'm clicking on mirror now this uh, Creo software is asking me to select a center line so I want this x-axis to be the center line and as soon as I'm selecting the x-axis I'm getting a neat curve exactly matching the upper curve on the other side of x-axis so this is the mirror and this is an aerofoil which is created using an option called spline so spline is a very important option if we are actually working in aerospace related applications and we have to uh, create uh, aerofoils with uh, plenty of coordinates available in our hand so what could be the another option which a uh, newbie would be doing it so you know generally what will they do is they'll be using a point option and you know they will be trying to plot all the 30 or the 50 whatever the count of points we have and they will be creating each point then they will be joining those points uh, with a option called spline and it is very uh, you know you can see the complexity involved over here and you can see the number of dimensions over here so our job is to reduce the work we have to uh, utilize the options in the best possible way and we have to uh, create the geometries in a very quicker time you can see the dimension what I have I only have one dimension for this the starting point and the ending point the total chord of the aerofoil is one unit and you can see the simplicity if I'm just neglecting this dimensions right now then I'm having only one dimension over here and another dimension over here whereas if if somebody is trying to create an aerofoil using this technique creating points and you know just trying to join them with uh, the spline so this is a very complicated technique because it is having a lot of confusion and many dimensions available over here so this is the end of the uh, video which is actually explaining us the way to use a spline thank you